Good evening, welcome to the Bowery Dugout. Bruce Paley here, uh, a proud owner and proprietor for the Bowery Dugout and chef for the, uh, I'm in my 35th year. And I just wanted to bring you into the kitchen and you see what uh, seafood's all about. A lot of times you see the outside, but you don't see what happens on the inside. So I'm gonna go through the lineup with you tonight. Tonight we have uh, a wonderful uh, features of fish. I'm gonna start with one of our house specialty items. We have a wonderful schwai filet, as you can see the beautiful shine on that. Along with that, we have a uh, scrod filet. If you can see that beautiful white and pink uh, color on there. Boston haddock. You can also see the nice shine. You can see how nice and fresh this fish looks. One of our big specialties tonight is Chilean sea bass. This denizen of the deep is almost on the endangered species list. It seems so because of the price that it uh, comes to us at. At the Bowery Dugout, we hand peel all our shrimp. We use uh, Mexican Gulf shrimp. These things are magnificent. This is a 1620 large, all hand peeled. And this just sets it apart from that bag shrimp or Taiwanese shrimp. And we're gonna move into uh, New Bedford sea scallops. These are all natural sea scallop. No chemical added, uh, dry boat sea scallops. A feature that we have tonight, which you don't see too often, is fresh Canadian smelt. Uh, these smelts are fresh, have never been frozen, and they're just magnificent. You don't really see them too much in a commercial uh, or a restaurant application anymore. <coughs> but they're just so magnificent. And if it swims in the ocean, we can sell it. I have a fantastic clientele. They just love all the seafood that I present to them. Our calamari is USA. You can see the beautiful white color involved here. You know, we hand cut this particular product and we cook everything to order. What you're looking, now, what you're looking at now is our make table. We assemble everything, nothing is pre-made. The orders come in and we assemble right here and then we hand over to the chefs and the cooking is done right on the other side of the kitchen. <clears throat> a quick pan on that, and we're gonna get there in a little bit. East Coast Fried Oysters. This is an oyster that's been pre-shucked. Uh, hopefully you can tell with the lacquer how fresh they are. It has that nice uh, slippery feel to it. That means they're super fresh, and they set themselves apart in my book from the Pacific counterpart those are very metallic. These are very sweet frying oysters. We're going to move on to South America. And we have South American lobster tails. <clears throat> A lot of tails that we get are from Nicaragua, Honduras, and Brazil. Something that's been very popular at the Bowery Dugout has been alligator, Louisiana farm-raised alligator. And that it's not for being a denizen of the deep or a, as what you see a real mean, tough fighting animal, it's uh, actually quite tender. We do tenderize it a little bit. It's nice pink meated. And we feature this scampi style, Cajun style, or tossed with a garlic sauce. We broil, we fry Cajun. Uh, panko crusted, garlic crusted. Uh, if you come up with the idea, we don't have a problem cooking it. Our sauces change daily, and these are our offerings. We're going to get to putting a couple of these things together for your viewing pleasure. Okay, we sh I showed you the three dishes that we set up before. As I'm looking at them, we have a bass with a pesto sauce, a cod with a uh, almond crumb topping, an occasion haddock with french fries, baked potatoes and rice pilaf. Uh, so Randy's over there and he's turning occasion haddock right now as we speak. Uh, the uh, chili and sea bass is in the back. He's got the first half done. It's just waiting pretty much for the sauce. And this Cajun haddock up front is ready to go. So as you can see, Lewis is making our plates and he's lining everything up in a neat and orderly fashion followed by the tickets and the tickets what I mean is the dupes of what the waitresses have ordered so barring what they read and knowing and reading the fine print because their uh, penmanship leaves a little to be desired sometimes but it's all in part of the fun so Lewis has come along and he's made some broil platters I see he's made some fried platters he has his tartar sauce ready 
We have a couple of pasta dishes, the pastas are ready. So he's ready to go for the first three tickets. What I mean, first three tickets, the first three orders that set up. Randy's over in the corner and he's getting the saute ready. And anything that we need to get ready in the fryer, we're ready for that section. You want to put a scrot on the plate? Yeah, move right into that chili and sea bass. Right there, it's good. So Randy's got the fish ready, it's on the plate, and he's proceeding to make the pesto sauce. So he takes a nice heaping tablespoon of pesto, uses some heavy cream, kicks up the flame, the flame is kicked up real high, and now he's gonna reduce the sauce a little bit. The pesto and the cream it just makes a wonderful, wonderful uh, uh, flavored sauce, that lovely basil and the pinoli. And you can actually see the sauce coming together when it's bubbling on the side, it's reducing, and it's becoming nice and thick. And like I say, while Randy's doing that, no fry before it's time. We make all our fries homemade, hand cut at the Bowery. And the trick to a good fry is, of course, handmade and crispy. We towel them, light salt, and if you want to zoom right back in that sauce, it's just where it should be. You see those nice uh, bubbles going on? And these are our three dishes. Randy's just going to apply the sauce to the chili and sea bass. Wonderful. Chili and sea bass with a pesto sauce, rice pilaf, Cajun haddock with french fries, Broil scrod with an almond crumb topping and baked potato. Three wonderful different fishes at preparations at the Bowery Dugout. Thank you, Randy and Lewis, for a wonderful job. Out into the dining room it goes. Three happy diners.